Hello everyone, welcome to the Looking Glass Graphics YouTube channel. The following tutorial will show you how to get CC3, Character Creator 3, Atmosphere Settings into iClone 7. It's a matter of copying .atm files from Character Creator 3 and placing them into your custom Atmosphere folder in iClone 7. Thank you for your time and if you like what you see in this video make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more. You will notice that the viewport for Character Creator 3 shows the character is a much better quality than the character placed in iClone 7. The character is the same inside both CC3 and IC7, but there is definitely a difference in the quality for both. By selecting the Stage Elements button in CC3, you can navigate into the Atmosphere tab to change lighting, shadow, and various elements in your scene. If you right-click on the selected atmosphere you will be able to find the file location where you can make a copy to be used in iClone 7. Once you have found the .atm file of your choice, you can right-click and copy that file, then navigate into iClone 7. Select the Stage button, go into your Custom tab, select Atmosphere, and then right-click within the File section to open up your folder location. You can now paste the previous Atmosphere file from Character Creator 3 into your custom Atmosphere folder for iClone 7. The same can be done with any of the other Atmospheres from Character Creator 3. Since many people have asked how to get the same quality from Character Creator 3 from its standard viewport, there's another way to retrieve that Atmosphere. By clicking away from the character, onto that background, you can use that Atmosphere as a custom Atmosphere. This time the Custom Atmosphere will be added into your Character Creator Custom Atmosphere folder, by pressing the Add button to your Custom Atmosphere location in CC3. From here you can right-click that newly made file, find its location, and add that into iClone 7. Here's a look at my character within iClone 7 using that last Atmosphere file I mentioned. No further adjustments for lighting, shadows, effects or anything else was used in this simple animation clip. However, once you are accustomed to these steps and have brought in any desired atmosphere, you can tweak it further to increase the quality for your project. I added a camera and linked the lights from the atmosphere to the camera. I then moved the camera to the desired location for the animation and was able to retain the look from the CC3 atmosphere without the character stepping away from the light source. If you liked this video and would like to see more tutorials, Please subscribe to my channel as I will be posting more tutorials for these programs and various others. Feel free to follow my other social media platforms on Twitter, at LGGArtist, Facebook, at Looking Glass Graphics, and Instagram, at Looking Glass Graphics. Thank you once again for watching. Onward and upwards to you and yours.